Here's some key things with sleep that have helped me. Hey guys, got a question on the gram. I wanted to address it for you here on uh, YouTube as well because it's something super, super important. This question is coming from Meow. How to get deeper sleep. Maybe you've seen some of my videos in the past talking about sleep. I've done at least five or six videos talking about sleep, what superfoods you can have for sleep, how to optimize your sleep environment. I talked a little bit about that in the morning ritual because the real ritual starts in the night. But here we are, we're talking about sleep one more time. Let's roll. When you're sleeping, the you that you think you are, this physical body, is now dreaming, right? Traveling into different astral realms, entering different dimensions, doing things that most people, when they wake up, they have no clue that they actually did. I know I'm sounding a little woo here, but it's important when we talk about sleep to talk about what's really happening when we're quote unquote sleeping, right? Because the more we wake up, at night, the more remembrance we have when we rise in the morning, the more remembrance we have when we go throughout our day, the awakened dream as to the sleeping dream. And once we wake up from the awakened dream and the, the sleeping dream, our life becomes the sacred dream. And that essentially is what fifth density living is all about. That's what this great awakening is that's happening, right? I've heard gurus in the past say one third of the planet uh, during a time that's coming, right, and this is in the past, will perish. One third will conform to kind of the rules and regulations that are going on, and another third of the global population will wake up. So I'm here as a messenger, giving you the message. This isn't my message, this isn't anything new. This, I'm not your guru, I'm just a guide on the side helping you guys on the stage of your life to help you wake up, not only at night, but also during your sleeping dream-like uh, dream <laughs> that we go throughout our daily lives in. When we sleep, we go into different phases of brainwave activity. We got theta, we got delta. And during these states of sleep, our body restores. The whole central nervous system, the whole autonomic nervous system uh, repairs itself while we sleep. That's why it's important to get good rest. If you're the type of person that's like, you know what, I'm die hard, I only need four hours of sleep a night. Some people do, you know, some, some of, the most spiritually enlightened people I've ever met in my life sleep for like two or three hours. I'm not there yet, right? Uh, and maybe you're not as well, which is why you're watching this video. So how do we really optimize our sleep environment? Number one, we first have to optimize our mind. So we have to tell ourselves that we're great sleepers. I know that sounds crazy, but what we tell our subconscious, our unconscious mind, we are, we become. So I'm a great sleeper. I am the world's greatest sleeper. My time to bed versus falling asleep is literally like less than a minute. I hit the pillow, I am out. Anybody else like that? Big thumbs up. That was a test. Even if you're not, you're supposed to give it a thumbs up. You want to fall asleep when you hit your eyes. When you, not when you hit your eyes, when you hit that pillow, okay? For me, when I hit that pillow, I'm looking for eight or nine hours of sleep a night. I work out twice a day, so I require a little bit more sleep right now. That could change in the future. Some nights I only get five or six hours. There's a lot of work going on. There's a lot of waking up with remembrance. There's a lot of dreams that happen where I'm like, I'm awake, right? Maybe that's starting to happen for you too. That's what I'm looking for. Now, here's some key things with sleep that have helped me. Number one is having a cooler climate in your bedroom. You guys have probably heard that. I like to keep with it around 69 degrees in the bedroom uh, at night. I also have a chili pad, which I put on 55, which keeps the bed cold. Okay, my girlfriend, Rebecca, I don't know what she does at night, but it's like she's in a Taekwondo event every single night, or she's got restless legs in her arms. She's like kicking me in the back. She's punching me. Uh, she's talking in her sleep. This is like a new thing. She literally talks every night in her sleep. And it wakes me up. I wake up around five to seven times every night. Like that's the normal. Not my goal, but that's kind of what's happening. You don't wanna wake up a lot. You wanna hit the, the sleep and you wanna go to bed. If you're having trouble and you're waking up a lot using the bathroom, then one thing that I did, and this isn't a recommendation, I'm not a doctor, but it's up your zinc intake, right? And consider maybe something for the prostate as well if you're you know, dealing with that particular issue. So that's another thing that you can do. You don't wanna wake up a lot. You wanna to go to bed, maybe once, twice, depending on how old you are, and you wanna sleep all the way through. 
I try to get about two hours of REM sleep every night and I try to get about an hour and a half to three hours of deep sleep on a good day, right? Three hours of deep sleep is kind of unheard of, but I feel rejuvenated, I feel rested. Uh, also blacking the room out really helps because even a blue light in the room is enough to keep your skin activated. My buddy, uh, Sean Stevenson wrote a book from his podcast, maybe you guys know Sean, but it's called um, Sleep Smarter. And that book is revolutionary when it comes to sleep. There's so much in it, it can help you guys out big time. I'll leave a link below if you're dealing with sleep issues. If you're waking up in the middle of the night a lot, depending on what time you're waking up, it could mean that there's deficiencies, not only in uh, your liver, but it could be your kidneys. And every hour is a different thing based on kind of Chinese medicine stuff. So you may want to look into that as well. If you're waking up, pay attention to the mood that you're in as well. Sometimes I wake up angry. I'm like, what's going on? That could be a liver thing. The liver is the seat of emotions, right? For our body, it's the brain of the emotions. So maybe there was something I ate, maybe there was something I'm still processing emotionally that I really need to work through when I get up in the morning. And then that's the perfect time to reflect, to do the body scan, to look into the awareness, and uh, really dig deep from that particular perspective. The more you resolve in your emotional day, right, in the 12 to 16 hours that you're up, then uh, you sleep better. You don't wanna go to bed in stress. That's a big thing too. So turn off the news, turn off the media, turn off anything that's imprinting you in a negative way. That could be a movie where there's people shooting people up, right? You're imprinting that on your unconscious. And the last 30 minutes before the day are the most important when it comes to expanding dream time. So I like to uh, listen to uplifting music, maybe some worship music. I like to meditate. I like to read something inspiring. That really works for me. Sometimes reading will throw people off because it'll force their left brain to become more active, keeping them up longer. Reading for me knocks me out, okay? Um, and if I am watching something on Netflix or something like into that, it's usually something positive. It's not imprinting on my mind negative stuff, super important. It's great to learn before you go to bed. So if you're trying to learn something new, learn a new language, learn a new skill, learn the guitar, whatever it is, watching demonstration videos on that before you drift off and telling your unconscious mind to teach you in the dream space. So I know I talk about a lot when it comes to sleep. Sleeping is so important, my friend. I've heard once that when we sleep, our astral body actually wakes up and goes to the other side of the planet and experiences life through the fields of other people. We're like observing what people are, are doing and what's going on. So imagine for a moment if you were able to wake up at night and go help other people on the other side of the planet become more successful in their life to tap into a higher aspect of who they are, right? From the space of while you're dreaming. There's nothing more rewarding than that. And I've had dreams where I uh, wake up and I go to people and I put my hands up and this golden white light starts coming out of my hands and I ask them where they are in the world and they tell me they're in, in Europe or Australia and I'm literally helping them heal. I'm not healing anybody, but I'm helping them, right? So it's important to know that not only do you have a job to do here in the 3D, but when you go to bed, there's also work to be done, especially if you're watching this video. So it's time to wake up, my friend, not only in the 3D, but also the 5D. Step into who you truly are, optimize your sleep for your physical body so that you can start to do real work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the sleep video. Let me know, scale of one to 10, how you sleep and uh, what you're gonna do to improve it based on the information that I gave. Leave a comment below and um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Subscribe to Fit Life TV. Send this to somebody who needs to be watching these videos in their life to help them uplift their own consciousness. And uh, as always, remember we're in this together and I'll see you soon.